Okay, this is another tutorial from the Backstreet Nets, and this time I'm going to make a spoon to go with the bowl. Now I've got the bowl saved here, and it was pretty good last time. Everything quite well. Now, if you're going to make a spoon, you're going to have to first create a um yeah right. yeah cylinder make a cylinder okay we don't need 32 vertices so let's put it down to 12 okay rotate 90 R is to rotate and just press 90 not on your numpad this time. No. S shift Y. The scales are on every axis except the Y one. Y. Then no S Y. Make it longer. Maybe not that long. Okay. Now go to the end here. I've already got this button checked. Move it out. No, actually, X to read. B, like that. E. And just a little bit. Move it in. Remove doubles. And then remove the vertices. So we've got 11 vertices removed. It's over here. Okay. There's one thing I want to do. If you haven't spaced these out enough, which I clearly haven't, go to this button here, which looks like a microphone. No microphone, one of those walking. No. One of those really things for talking and then makes it louder. And it's never really whether you enable or connect it for the moment anyway you'll see the difference in the later tutorial uh, uh, scroll down to adjust the amount you want to move and then disable the pin okay that looks good. Now, in object mode, I'm going to right click on this and press H to hide it. Don't worry, I haven't deleted it. Then, right click on that, shift right click, shift right click, H. Okay, so then 3, and on the numpad, right click on tab. I'm going to change change this. Press shift and shift and middle mouse button to move around. X to delete vertices. And I'm going to press control one. So I'm going to uncheck this box. And now Shift. Let's actually use the mouse. Okay. F. F. Hmm. Control R. Across the middle. Now.
stand on the bathroom. No. Okay. So now it looks like this. It's just changing around. Control one. I uh, can control numpad one. Let's move it like that. Or view back. Now I'm gonna go to edge select mode. Now. E. Just move it a tiny bit. Give it down. Move that axis a little bit. Now E. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe a little bit more. Press that button. Move back. Okay. Now. Um. Let's press Shift A again. Wall and tab. I'm going to edit mode. Well, I rarely use flip 32. Okay, now. Faces. Sorry. Now press. Now with your um, cursor, hover it over the half sphere, hemisphere. Press L and move it into the right position. Now. Uh, first I'm going to press P to separate selection, tab, now with the, with this right clicked, with this left click, sorry, let's go to modify, to solidify, wait, I'm also going to add a subdivision surface. Solidify just sub subsurf. Okay. Now okay. S Z so the no. seven. Numpad. Going to check enable on the proportional editing again. That's what it's called. Going to make it quite big. And just going to move it up. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Okay, now go to edge mode. It's like, oops, 
can go to this before the one. Okay, click on this edge, that edge, that edge, that edge. That edge. Gotcha. Go to that edge and that edge. And put it while holding a shift and alt. Right click on that selection of edges. And usually it would work. But like, there's always some. There's always a problem when there's no. I'm not saying it's a bad problem. Some of the mathematics aren't very good. Okay. Now. And we can use back. So control E. Put a mark sharp. Now you'll notice it doesn't does do anything yet. But if I add an edge split modifier to it and go uh and click edge angle. Just sharp edges. Move it up above the the um subsurf. Smooth smooth. There we go. It's a lot better and cleaner looking, isn't it? Now, with this selected, press shift and right click on that, press control J. Tan that turns it back into one mesh. Oh wait. But before you do that, click apply. Move it up to the top and click apply. There we go. And all that does is gives it a nice is gives it an edge. Which and it comes in very useful. Now now I'll press control Y. The button selected control J. Select the spoon, the head of the spoon first. There we go. And press three. And select this part. And control wait. <coughs> Press Control Alt Shift all at the same time and right click on one of the thinner little edges there. And then try again. Nope. There we go. Now E mark sharp. There we go. Now to R Control R Control R For L, move that up and across. You get into the swing of things after a while. Do one more loop. 
Select mode. Select all those and press X. Faces. Now, I'm going to edge, alt, and right click and select that. Now, I'm going to actually first select. as well and the middle edge if it hasn't already been glued but that's been set okay now <coughs> go into the vertex mode click this to snap to enable snapping go to vertex And then right click on this G there. Right click on that G there. Right click G. And just keep on doing that the whole way around. Now, press A, and A again to select everything, and simply press Remove Doubles. Remove Doubles, what it does exactly, just go 